Okay, guys, so I've already started to run this washing machine. I've just got it on a small uh, light load and it's stopping right at the wash cycle and it also will not spin, but it will drain the water. I'm going to show you how to replace the shift activator right here. A very simple process, save you lots of money and fix some machine. All right, so as I'm about to show you, it's just sitting here stuck on the wash cycle. It's filled with water. All right, so I just pause it. And as you can see, it's filled with water. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick, simple, easy repair. All right, so as you can see, I've got the machine unplugged here. And if you're in your side of your house, you may want to turn your water hoses off and disconnect them at this time and go ahead and pull out your drain hose and make sure that it's sitting either inside the washer or off to the side and make sure you go ahead and get that excess water that's going to come out of it before you tip your machine over. So I've got a piece of wood right here and I'm doing this outside. So I'm going to lay it on its side. Some, some people may, may be easier to lay it forward. Just You might want to lay a towel down or something so you don't get your floor wet. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down on the side real quick. Alright, so once you've got your washer laid down, kind of the bottom, there's one cover right here that goes over the belt that you're going to have to remove. It's got a 238 bolts. I've already loosened those up to make this a little bit quicker and simpler process. Okay, so once you've got those two bolts removed, you can go ahead and slide this out of the way. Okay, so right here is the shift accutator, and there's only two Phillips head bolts holding it on. One right here, and one right there as seen. Just go ahead and remove those two Phillips head bolts. It's a really easy process here, guys. A little bit more on these bolts. They're pretty long, so let's twist them a little bit to get them out. They just pop straight out. All we have to do is you come right here, and you can see where it holds it. And pop this little part right here, pops right in right there. And there's one clip on the wire in the harness right here that you have to disconnect. So let me go ahead and grab the new one real quick. So as you can see, I've got the two sitting here. We're going to go ahead and put on our replacement. Just pops in that groove, and you want to make sure that you connect it. Let me show you that right here. Make sure you connect it. Go ahead and pop that wiring harness in. Make sure it's in there good. And grab your two Phillips head bolts. Maybe easier just to go ahead and push that one in the hole and same with this one and then go ahead and store them. Anytime I'm working on something I like to tighten both sides down at the same time. The way one side's not tighter than the other. those bolts in there snug and that's good so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grab our two bolts to the belt cover all right so we're going to go ahead and pop this back over just start the bolts by hand and make them a little simpler So once you get these bolts tightened up, we can go ahead and turn over the machine and we'll see how it's doing. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And as you can see, it's on wash cycle, washing as it should. And that's how to fix your washing machine in less than five minutes.